Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indexes. We'll be looking at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, October 26, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down in the corner. It takes one second. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So the S&P 500 fell um, from Monday and all the way to to uh, Thursday and then rallied uh, on fr on Friday and basically I rallied later on on Thursday and then towards Friday. At this point, I do believe that we are going to retest these highs. Um, most of the indicators are showing signs of life. For example, the stochastic has completely turned around. It's going to, to um, retest the signal line here and that is going to indicate that we are going to go higher. Uh, it looks like the 50 moving average is as far as this market will go. We have been waiting for uh, stimulus and there is very little hope that any stimulus bill will pass the, uh, the Congress uh, before the election. We may get an uh, agreement between, uh, uh, between the House and uh, Steve Mnuchin, um, but there is not going to be a, a bill passed in the Senate uh, that is going to resemble anything what the Democrats want in the, in the House of Representatives. So I don't think that is going to happen. Um, and if it doesn't happen, then the US economy probably is in big trouble because it may well be that there is not going to be any stimulus whatsoever until February 2021. And that is going to uh, may, uh, well, that's going to be absolute havoc on the US economy. But until then, um, I do believe that before the election, we are going to retest this level at 3,549. That is what most of these indicators are indicating. Uh, if we break below this area here, that opens the door to the 100 moving average at 3,303. And a break above this level here opens the door to these highs of 3,589. Uh, I did a video of the tech stocks and they, most of them, have this same pattern. That we basically fell and then we're turning around now to go and make a double top um, for most of the tech stocks. And if that is the case, then that will also be the case for the S&P 500 because most of these tech stocks are such a big part of the S&P 500. So that is most likely what's going to happen. We are going to trade sideways uh, before the election and after the election, we will see a lot more movement because it will be then it will be realistic whether or not uh, Biden's policies are going to be the policies or Donald Trump's policies are going to be the policies. So if you look at the Dow Jones, we can see that we have the similar movement here, found uh, support at the 50 moving average at the 28,000. And then we are most likely going to head to 28,900 or 28, 29,000. And technically trade in between uh, this range before the election. If we break above here, that opens the door to these highs. A break below here opens the door to the 100 moving average at 27,294. Technical indicators are showing signs of life, most of them. The CCI, the stochastic, the same goes for the Bollinger Band. However, the MACD is flat and the RSI is pointing to lower levels. So, but as we basically bounce from the 50 moving average, it is highly likely that we'll go towards this uh, previous highs of uh, two weeks ago. So look at the NASDAQ. We can see the NASDAQ is doing a similar, similar pattern here. We have a high here of 12,187 and we have a low here at the 50 moving average at 11,529. 50 moving average looks like it's going to be massive support. So if that breaks, that opens the door to the 100 moving average here at 11,000. If we break above this, then we'll go to these highs of uh, 12,435. 
I don't think that is going to happen without any stimulus or uh, clarity of what's basically going to happen in the future in the, in the U.S. economy. Uh, we'll most likely trade in between uh, these two ranges, uh, between um, five, 600 uh, points range uh, to the upside. And so, yeah, that is most likely, that is my bet what is technically going to happen here. No interest in basically shorting this. This is a market that will go up in the long run. It's designed to go up in the long run. Um, and as I said, when I if you look at my technical analysis of the tech stocks, most of the major tech stocks have a similar pattern. They hit the support at the 50 moving average and are on the way back to their all-time highs. And they will most likely make a double top uh, similar to the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 and also the Dow Jones. They will hit this top and then go back again and then just trade sideways. Uh, and after the election, we'll probably see a lot more movement. Technical indicators, Mac, uh, the stochastic is about to turn around. The Bollinger Band is showing sign of it basically turning around. The same goes for the CCI. However, MACD, RSI are looking still fairly bearish at this point. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down in the corner. It takes five seconds or one. Uh, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.